What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, it's going to be really, really quick. Basically, I'm going to show you how you can get into the new public beta for the Rust HDRP backport. Basically, they were doing a full graphics overhaul. It didn't turn out as expected. And as far as I understand, they're pulling all of those assets back into a version of the game, which they'll be shipping sometime next month. If you've been following Rust news, you've probably come across Shadow Rax's video, which he released on April the 1st, 2021. And if you watched it, you probably thought it was an April Fool's joke. In it, he talked about a message from the Face Punch developers. We're now at a stage where we feel the pack point is approaching the final stages and ready for public testing and feedback. Wednesday, April 7th, we'll be opening the HDRP backport publicly, which will be available to play from the Rust staging client via Steam by opting into the AUX01 beta branch. Please be aware due to the nature of changes on the backport, wipes will be frequent and they don't recommend regular play, at least until later in the month. What does this mean? Well, of course, on Wednesday, April 7th, until probably sometime next month, you'll be able to test out the HDRP backport on Steam on a couple of servers. No, it won't be cross-compatible with other servers that you usually play on. There'll have to be specific servers running the staging branch version, especially on this separate beta branch, for you to actually play. So you could probably set up your own server, and if you're curious about setting up your own HDRP backport server, make sure to leave a comment down in the comments below. But for this video, I'll show you how you can activate this beta branch on Steam and be ready to play it on April 7th when it finally comes out. For the next month or so, you should be able to actually play the HDRP backport on HDRP backport servers. And as they say, there'll be tons of updates, etc. So don't play it too seriously if you're going to be testing it out. Again, it's a public test. So to begin, we need to activate the new staging client on Steam. How do we do that? Well, simply open up Steam. To activate this new beta branch, simply search for Rust in your Steam library. Then select Rust Staging Branch rather than Rust itself. Right click Rust Staging Branch, click Properties, and then head across to the Betas section. And from here, you may see it in the drop down already as the HDRP backport or even AUX01, the code that we'll be entering, if you don't see anything here. If you only see none here, right below it, you'll see a block to enter a beta access code. Type in the code AUX01 and hit Check Code. However, of course, you can see it currently is not something I can activate. If we have a look back at the announcement video, you'll see Wednesday, April 7th, we'll be opening the HDRP backport publicly, which will be available to play from the Rust staging client via Steam by opting into the beta branch. So currently you're not able to do this, but when the time is right, i.e. April 7th, you should be able to type in AUX01 inside of the code box, and you'll be able to select and download the updated version of the Rust staging client on the specific branch. So after entering this, clicking check code, it should be activated. And if it's not already selected up here from the dropdown, simply select whatever it'll be called at the time. I'm not too sure as it's currently not live and it's a couple of days before the 7th. But it's a much better idea to get this video out now so that people can be prepared for when this thing comes around to download it, test it out and see what it's like. Of course, when you do select a beta branch here, you still need to download and install Rust staging branch, which is a full re-download of the game basically. Of course, it may be a bit bigger, especially if there's a ton of extra stuff added to it, which there likely is. So of course, after you activate the beta branch and you download and install it, you should be running the HDRP backport. It's a good idea to right click properties, betas, and once again, check to see if you actually have it selected before you fire up the game after downloading it. Then you should be able to head into the normal server browser and join basically any one of the servers there because they're likely the same version that'll allow you to join and play the HDRP backport. But anyways, this video has gone on long enough. It was just supposed to be a quick announcement. Of course, I wasn't able to show you too much, but you're now prepared for when it will come around and hopefully you'll enjoy giving it a look. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.